and you kind of end up kind of broadcasting with bunny ears or something. Hello Facebook, how is everybody today? This is the first Facebook and YouTube format that I've done with this wider screen so it's interesting just to see, it's a bit scary what you can see in the background because all this stuff suddenly gets revealed so you can see yeah a bit of my wardrobe going on there. I'm a little bit high but hopefully if I push back just a little bit like that. It's going to be an interesting session today because I'm going to be joined by my favourite physio, Libby Cordell, who is somebody that I've seen for many, many years and she's treated me and my family and, and really helped us with so many different things. Um, and she's going to be talking about how we can get better posture, about how we can avoid backache, neck strain, tech neck, you know that thing where we're always looking down at screens, if we're working from home, how to set up your little desk space ergonomically. Just looking down here, what can you see down there? No, I think it's all right. I think I haven't got, got too much clutter. Just ignore that, hey? So I've got here, hopefully, I've got some nice questions for Libby. Oh, I'm plugged in over there. I'm going to have to unplug this. So Amy has sent me some questions earlier on my... Um, hopefully she has. Anyway, where are we, Amy? There we go. So I am connected. So if you've got questions for me... Pop them down for Amy. Uh, well, actually, you can just pop them onto Facebook because Amy is on Facebook already, aren't you? Hello, Amy. Very nice to have you there. So, yep, she's given me details and also some more questions. Just a couple of very quick ones, which I'll do now before we get into the physio. Um, lemon balm. Now, this was probably relating to my live on ITVs this morning, which I did on Monday, I think it was. Seems like years ago. I think it was only the day before yesterday. <laughs> that was with Eamon and Ruth. And yes, you can use fresh Melissa. So that's lemon balms. That's from Caroline on Instagram. She says, can I put the leaves pick fresh into the tea? Yes, you can. Absolutely. Um, oh, I've got some nice physio exercises coming up here and questions. So that will be really good for Libby. I am going to be chatting to Libby and I'm also going to be introducing a brand new discount code for Liz Loves, which you won't want to miss and a couple of other specials at the end. But let's see whether we've got Libby in the house. Um, so Libby, just to remind everybody, or just to say, to remind me, she has been a physio for over 22 years. We started working together about nine years ago. It's probably after I had my last child and just needed some extra physio help. And she's absolutely genius. I think she's probably seen every single member of my family. And uh, it will be great. Let's hope that we can go live with her. Now, she has got an app called Corefulness, which we'll talk about, which is a free app that everybody can have. So I'm going to now, hopefully, my little sign says waiting for Libby. Now, I'm sorry, Facebook, you're not going to be able to see Libby, but you will be able to hear her. So any demos that Libby wants to do, I will obviously be able to show you. Hi, Libby, you are there. Hello. Hi, Liz. So nice to see you. I'm really well. I'm just going to adjust my Instagram phone because whenever I split the screen, it means that top half of my head disappears. So I'm just going to move that very slightly. Whereabouts are you? Are you in your practice rooms? I, I'm in the office of the clinic. Okay, yes. excellent. It's quiet and I could get, get um, good Wi-Fi. <laughs> exactly. We always have that issue. Well, fingers crossed it's okay. Just to remind everybody, especially anybody who's new, I am live at the moment on both Facebook and Instagram. So Instagram, I'm Liz L. Me. So if you have a problem with Facebook, please hop over to Instagram. Vice versa, if we have a problem with Instagram, which I seriously hope we don't because we've got Libby here, then you can get me on the Liz L. Wellbeing Magazine Facebook page. So Libby, I was amazed when I thought back and, and thought, gosh, it's nearly a decade that we've known each other. And I remember you actually helped set up my well-being studios in London when I was gathering my small team together and I wanted yes. to make sure that everybody was set up ergonomically and that we had desks and monitors at proper heights and and all of that so I thought that was quite relevant for the moment because a lot of people are working from home and perhaps continuing yeah. to work yeah, from home absolutely. What yes, are the kind of yes, key absolutely. things, you know, if, if you're setting up um, your desk, what are the key yes. things that we should be doing? Yeah, so, um, yes, yeah, absolutely. All, all those years ago, we, when we had clicks in, just, just moved actually from London down to Wiltshire, and we were yeah. still going to London to do ergonomic consultancy. Um, I think the most important thing is with, with the desk setup is to make sure you have an adjustable chair, 
and make sure you have a proper height desk. That's so w- when you say adjustable chair, do you mean one that goes up and down, like an office chair? Uh, absolutely, yes, up and down, and and the, the seat alters in height, and that the backrest can alter in in um, in, in its, its angle. Okay. Um, and so that you can actually fit the chair to you. I think that's the important thing. And a lot of people will go and buy a chair, but never actually know how to fit it to them. And so I think particularly with lockdown, when so many people obviously can work from home, yeah. and a lot of my patients, now we're back in clinic, albeit in full PPE, um, a lot of my patients are coming in, and a lot of their problems are coming because they've been sitting for far too long on their kitchen table, or squeezing into the corner of a room. Um, so basic equipment of good desk and a good chair it's a good um, investment, isn't it? They may seem expensive, these adjustable chairs, but think how many hours you're going to be sitting in it. Yeah. And they're I not very beautiful think... either. They don't look very nice. No, no but... they don't. They don't. Some, <laughs> some are better than others. Yeah. And I think also, though, that um, employers do have an obligation to look after their employees. Ah. And I do know some people who've had their chairs brought down from, and if they're working in London, brought down from London to their houses. Good plan. And it's those two things. So I, I think ask employers how yeah. they can help you. Yeah, you good, know, really good plan. And when, yeah, when you're yeah. sitting in your chair, when you're sitting in your desk, yeah. I know you've yeah. always said to me that you need to have your legs at right angles. So your your yes. your thighs are straight, basically, yes. and with your feet yes. flat on the floor. And that's really important, yeah. isn't it? Really important. And if you think about basic rule of thumb is that your joints want to be in mid-range. So your knees want to be at 90 degrees, your hips want to be at 90 degrees, when you're sitting at your desk, your elbows want to be at 90 degrees okay. with your hands resting on the desk. So, okay. yeah, so no, joint, no joint is really put through um, too much range of movement one way or the other. So um, Interesting. So that when we have our hands, when we're typing, say, we should yeah. our elbows should or our forearms should be flat on the table. Absolutely. Really? Yes, forearms resting on the table. Not, not the elbows because we have nerves that run very superficially in the elbows, but forearms resting on the table table and then hands onto the keyboard okay um, and then screens directly in front of you right. not off to one side or the other okay yeah not that but... and no and the and the top of your screen being level with your horizontal eye gaze okay so that's a lot of people. yeah so yeah. that does so mean then if you're working that. on a laptop rather than kind of doing this over the laptop yes. you yeah. really do need to buy a separate monitor a separate screen well or, or, or do you just lift up your laptop onto a pile of books and have a separate so keyboard? Think, that's right, exactly. M- much cheaper option. Yeah, get the laptop okay. up and get a separate key- keyboard and mouse. Yeah, yeah. We've, um, as you mentioned about corefulness, mm. the, the new website, um, I've filmed and literally will be putting up, uh, probably in about two weeks' time, an actual module called At Work. Great. All about how to set up your workstation properly. And it yes. goes from, we've videoed it very carefully, so it's really easy to follow. Fantastic. And on that, there's, um, there's exercises as well, how to stretch those muscles that get tight when you're working, yeah. how to keep yourself moving in a very, very small space in an office, yeah. um, how to use the correct muscles when you're sitting, and also a little stair-based exercise. So I've tried to, mm. um, you know, we used to do say, a lot of ergonomic consultancy in London, and people... Yeah. They, they went out and invested for hundreds of pounds in these wonderful chairs and things, but never actually fitted Never set themselves. them up. Well, I remember, in fact, we've got a piece on our website, which I know Amy's put a link to on uh, uh, on Facebook, and we'll, we'll have it on our, um, I'll pop it either on Linktree or you'll find it if you hop onto Liz, our wellbeing. Um, for yeah. that, you, you wrote a piece for us years ago for the magazine, yes. in one of the early yes. copies of the magazine, about this yeah. very thing, because it is yeah. just so important. You see a lot of patients don't you who come in I've already seen a question actually come in about tech neck what is yes. tech neck and how do we avoid it oh I, I think it's the, the biggest thing is sitting still for far too long in the wrong position okay and and it's you know, our head is a fifth of our body weight so if you're looking down it puts a lot of stress on the muscles around the neck yeah always like neck, this yeah yeah and if we if you look at the natural curvature of the spine the neck is supposed to curve to curve in, okay. and if you're spending a lot of time looking down, yeah. then you're putting you know, the, the, the wrong stress on. on so should the neck. we, as we sit, then you know, because we are going to be looking at our screens, obviously, should we yeah. then just break off and kind of do the reverse, kind of look up and and stretch our necks yeah. out? Yes, absolutely. Well, um, yes, looking up and looking around. The the advice is that every 
every 20 minutes you should really be looking away from your screen for your neck your eyes okay and then every 40 minutes you should be getting up out of your chair and, and start moving around and you and can set a timer you can't you on your phone just to ping to remind you because i mean i'm a writer so i get so engrossed in what i'm doing i lose all track of time i go off down a rabbit hole of research and before yes. i know it, i've been sitting in the same place probably with my laptop on my lap you yes. know not resting my forearms neck no, down no. That's why I have to and come and see you, you know. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> and everything gets really tight. Um, and interesting so what, what you say, you gave me some really simple little tips, which I think would be really nice to share. When you're setting up your monitor to avoid eye strain and that kind of forward action of the neck, yeah. pulling everything yeah. forward, is yes. increase your font size and yes, increase your absolutely. cursor size. So whenever anybody looks at my screen at home, they go... Heck, look at you, the size of that. You know, you're totally yeah. blind. And I go, no, no, I just like my type to be really big and yes. my, my little cursor, so I'm not struggling to see, you now where's the cursor on the screen? Make it a really great big fat little arrow and then your Absolutely. eyes are just go, oh, there it is, easily. You, yes. you, can, you can see yes. where it is. Yes. Exactly, and it doesn't, it doesn't draw you into the screen out of your good posture. Yeah, yeah exactly. Being put, all the while having these expensive chairs, but if you're not going to sit back yeah. in them because you no. can't see, you've got to be able to sit back, feel relaxed, no feel that your Actually, your screen is at that height where you're looking yes, and then you can just yeah. you know kind of carry on but that's a really yeah. good you know the 20 minutes every 20 yes. minutes you know look away for yeah. you know 20 seconds for something that's yeah. much further away so you're using Absolutely. those those eye yes. muscles now i'm really excited about this new app that you've been developing yes. Uh, yes. called corefulness so we all that's know about right. mindfulness. mindfulness so that's tell right. us about the what what's the idea behind corefulness yeah absolutely so corefulness and a, a new made-up word um which in theory you know could be physical mindfulness in a way okay and um the, the corefulness journey for me started two years ago just over two years ago when i went to my children's primary school and taught the children how to run I have a real passion of running, run myself a lot, and I love teaching running. Um, and the children just enjoyed it so much, and they got so much out of it. And I thought to myself, this really needs to be in a curriculum. And, uh, mm. and also, teaching people how to run needs to be in, in a curriculum. Um, and so call, the Corfinus website or the, uh, and the Corfinus ideas sort of really came from that. Mm. And what we've developed over the last, um, we, we just recently launched a, a brand new website, so it's not quite an app yet. Great. Wait, wait, wait till it gets a little bit more going. It will be an app hopefully soon. But what, what the website started with is um, what, what we call foundation program. So years and years of working as a physiotherapist, teaching people about these four key core muscles, the core muscles that really hold the skeleton together so that our body can move properly. Um, and I devised a six-week free core program which gets people working these muscles from sitting to standing to walking so and is that for all ages because you know you start with the primary school ages. children can you do it for children yeah. and take it through to to older people absolutely absolutely yes everybody everybody can use it and it's been a really useful tool in lockdown mm. because obviously people can't access you know physical therapy or yeah the same way. there's loads out there on the internet but to me what was missing was understanding these four basic muscles. So what are the four muscles them. that we're talking about? So, so, here we go, a bit of anatomy. The, the first muscle is in the shoulder blade called the serratus anterior, and it, okay. and it stabilizes the shoulder, absolutely, right. and, and therefore the neck position. Okay. So, as, as I've told you many times, pull your shoulder blades into your back pocket. She always tells me. She's always, always going on about it. And um, you say uh, you, it's about setting, isn't it? It's pulling your shoulder yeah. blades down. I hope everybody at no, home is doing yes, this. Yes. Pulling it down and just remembering to keep that tall position, the piece of yeah. string coming from up here, Absolutely. pulling you up like a puppet. Absolutely, yeah. And it's very subtle. It's not, it's not sticking chest out. It's not overusing okay, not this. it. It's very subtle. <laughs> no, exactly. So you can do it throughout the day. Mm -hmm. and, then, um, and then the muscle, um, the pelvic floor. Of most course. Muscle, as far as I'm concerned in the whole body. Okay, and that's interesting. And that's for, that's for guys as well as girls, oh, pelvic floor. Absolutely. Yes, okay. yes, men as well as ladies, and it is very funny. I do have all sorts of giggles in my clinic, but the men I tell them they've got a pelvic floor, and they don't think they've got one, <laughs> so it's quite funny. Um, but um, the pelvic floor is absolutely uh, key because it controls um, a couple of other muscles when you engage the pelvic floor, which really strengthen around the low back and the pelvis. I'm and squeezing as I sit here. 
Yeah, it's the nation really squeezing with me. We're all squeezing exactly. now. You've drawn exactly. attention to it. Because exactly. I Great forget, example. you know. Yeah. I just, yeah. we all know that, you know, especially if you've had babies, that you, it gets drummed into you by health yes. visitors and, and physios that yes. we, we need to be doing this every day yes. forever, don't we? Well, absolutely, absolutely. And I think we all lead such busy lives. Yeah. We can't necessarily stop and exercise for 10 minutes a day. But this is like Having all these like, comments on Instagram, busy. people are saying, I'm squeezing, I'm squeezing. Yes, We're all squeezing see, together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so that, that's the second muscle. The third okay. muscle is called, is called the glute medius. We have three big glutes muscles, but the medius is the stability one. And this is the one that connects essentially, if you know, mind your um, hip, around over the hip area, so leg to pelvis. Mm -hmm. So all these muscles really sort of hold things together. And then the final stability muscle that I particularly work on is called the vastus medialis obliquus, which is the inner quadriceps. So at the front of the thigh on the inside. Okay. So these, these four muscles link the leg to the pelvis, the pelvis to the back, the back to the neck so the whole thing and then neck to the, to the arm yeah so the whole thing if you can just activate slowly these four muscles how do you activate the ones in the front of the thigh i mean i, I get the fact that you set the shoulder blades down i yeah. get that i squeeze yeah. my pelvic floor i get that i yeah. can you know clench my backside which is hopefully yes. doing yes. something there how, how do i do yes. these front thigh ones so so a lot of it's to do so all, on the foundation program there are various exercises that get you to initially just find out where the muscle is. Yeah. And then it's through exercises, for example, like squatting and lunging. Oh. But it's squatting and lunging in the correct way, which is taking yeah. the knee in alignment with the foot. Yeah. So also yeah. I say to people, when you're walking upstairs, if you walk upstairs and you have your foot straight yeah. and you keep your knee in line with your foot, then you'll use the muscles correctly. If the knee comes inwards then suddenly the alignment's not right and you're not mm. using the muscles correctly. So th those are sort of um, um, tips and things which will come, there's a, on the Core Fullness website, there's a, a new module called the Living Module, which will be launched again um, in a few weeks' time, which very much explains all those sort of hints that I give people in clinic. Yeah. And I really feel this information is so important, yeah. you know, um, how to just move, how to sleep, how to drive, yes. how to very simple things. Yeah. And if we think about it as the day goes on, then you've done your exercise without even thinking about it. Yeah, indeed. And the website, so is it corefulness.co.uk? Corefulness.com. Corefulness wow, you've got a dot com. Yes. Woohoo, way dot to go. We and is it a I free think... website? We're getting lots of questions about that. Yes, yes. So the foundation program is free. Fabulous. Absolutely. Well done. And, and the, the running module, which teaches people how to run. So again, from my knowledge of running, yeah. I've broken down running into five stages. A lot of people are wanting to do couch to 5K, yep. those sort of things. So they're told what distance to run, but very few people tell you how to run. And I right. want people to be able to run with maximum efficiency and minimum injury. Absolutely, just, that's really basics, important. Yep. Yeah, yep. and a few basics about how to run. And also on there is a warm-up program, and that's really important for people to warm up the muscles in a running specific way yeah so, so will you pay so for pay for the little modules yeah. then so yes. you, you get the basic so, information there brilliant absolutely. yes yeah yes. And, that's and fair 9.99 yeah um, great i'm then, totally going to do that libby because yeah. as you know you know michael gary god bless him has, yes. has got me running um yes. but i would love now to be able especially as i get older to know that i'm running safely i'm running more efficiently yeah. even yes. simple things that you've taught me in clinic like when i'm moving my arms just to make sure yes. that they're not kind of all over the place because I'm using too much Absolutely. energy when That's I could right. be using that energy right. for running. So just really simple yes. things like yes. that actually make Absolutely. me able to run further and give me a bit more stamina yes. and have yes. less injury yes. as well. So. Absolutely, yeah, less, less impact on the body. That's, that's the key thing. So, so if, you, um, you know, if, if you look at it and, and start learning about how to do it properly, then actually the body can run far, far better you know, in that sense. Yeah, fantastic. Um, and do you yeah. see people in older life taking up running? Because this is something that we've talked about, and you've talked about the couch to 5K. Is this something that yeah. that we can all do? What, what would your advice be, your kind of parting yes. words as a physio to, to midlife women? How can you encourage yes. us to, you know, yeah. be safely active? Absolutely. I, th I think the, the biggest thing with, with running is, running's not for everybody. 
but but start yeah. whatever you do start slowly yeah. and, and actually walking walking then small little bits of jogging then walking then small little bits of jogging so you might do one minute walking 20 seconds jogging so you know very very small amounts that that's the key is to start start slowly but just and, to start build, yeah build things up gradually so you're not doing too much to quickly fantastic um, yeah libby yeah. do come back yes. and chat to us again i'd love to hear especially yes. when your app is actually launched but for the moment it's corefulness.com and people can go and have a good snoop around yes. sign up for what they want to but just download yes. lots of free information i love what yes. you're doing with the kids i think it's amazing wouldn't that be incredible yes. to get that on the curriculum yeah well the the, 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 the children's we, we start piloting the children's um pilot project next week with three local schools it's very exciting we're going to get them uh, stronger and fitter and, and get them really working in, in class as well as with their PE teachers so great so um, I imagine then if people are connected to their local schools as we think about kids going back hopefully in the next yes. sort of week or two people can contact yes. you if you know if they do want Absolutely. to get their, their schools yes. involved that would be a great yes. thing wouldn't it yes yes if they go onto the website and look at the schools uh, yep. the whole page on schools and they can um, um, contact us on the website if Fantastic. they want to become a pilot school Fantastic. So, Do you know, you're going to have loads of followers. I'm seeing already loads and loads oh, of comments. People, And you're, in, you're on Instagram as well, Corefulness. We are. We, we recently got onto Instagram. Okay, and good. So, yeah. <laughs> but, um, well, you... Lovely speech and thank you so much for inviting me onto your Instagram. Your, your posts have been brilliant in lockdown. Absolutely brilliant to keep us all going. It's been fantastic. Well, um, thank you. Well, I should actually just say a very quick thing for anybody who's been affected directly by COVID, either now or in the future. You got COVID early on, didn't you? I did. And very, you filmed yeah. yourself on YouTube. I did. I did. Yeah. Doing your exercises to help the respiratory system. That's right. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. So as physiotherapists, we, we teach people how to take deep breaths. And um, when I was in my first week of isolation, I was doing this breathing and I thought, well, why not get it out there? And, and, I, yeah. and I had all symptoms, but I was fine. So I posted um, uh, absolutely on, onto YouTube and those videos are again on the website, on in the blogs. Oh, brilliant. Um, so so people can find them, that they're, they're staying yeah. up there if you're affected or you know somebody who's affected yeah. by it. That's yeah. genius. Yeah. Yeah. That's so, so um, generous of you to do that. Well, Thank you. I was so thrilled that people took it on board. Um, because I felt there was so much negative information yeah. and actually people just needed to see somebody okay I'm you know relatively young and fit but see people coping and have positive messages yeah but um that's what you've provided as well which has been amazing yeah. so um thank you for that well it's all teamwork thank yeah. you so much come back and oh. chat to us again soon won't you yes thank, thank you, so you. Much. lots okay, of love to you bye <laughs> bye bye so I always have to be careful to press the right button because sometimes I press end and I don't mean to press end and then that stops the whole thing. But no, I just managed to, whoops, there we go, say goodbye to Libby. Wasn't that great? Oh, she's just such a star. And I think, you know, for all of us, and I've said this before, we only have one body and we only have one place to live and that's our bodies. So, you know, let's give it the best equipment that we can. Let's, you know, just take a little bit of time. Do head, you can head corefulness, obviously.com, lizardwellbeing.com. I know Amy's been brilliant. She's pulled up some information that Libby helped us with before, how to set up your desk at home, the right height for your footrest, you know, how to put your laptop onto a pile of books or whatever so that you bring the screen up to the right height. That's what I do. I travel with my laptop. And if I know I'm going to be working away from home, I just take a little portable wireless keyboard and a little wireless mouse. And then I've got those set up and I just, you know, stick it on a pile of books so that I bring the screen up and then I just connect my keypad and my um, and my mouse and that's it. Good to go. So thank you very much indeed, Libby. Lots and lots of questions. And I know there are lots of questions here. Hopefully looking at these questions, um, they have been answered by Libby. So, yeah. Great, thank you very much indeed. So a couple of things before I head off today. So I am currently today tiny weeny bit distracted because I'm filming. I've got a film crew here from this morning. So we are doing a new series. I'm just gonna tweak this very slightly because I'm at different angles for both Facebook and um, Instagram and YouTube. Hopefully that's working for you guys. Apologies if it's a little bit off today. Um, but uh, yeah, so I've been filming yesterday and today and tomorrow I'm doing a new mini series for the show and that will go out start next month, which is really exciting. So really looking forward to that. So I've been recording promos for it and just doing lots of different things around the farm 
all about natural ingredients that you can harvest from the land, things, foods that you can eat, foods that you can use on the skin, all sorts. So it's been really, really good. It was a little bit perilous this morning because I was filming with my bees talking all about honey. And uh, hi, Angela from Bulgaria. That's very nice to have you with me. Who else is watching from afar? Um, so my bees were fine, but after a while, you know, bees can get just a little bit knocked by your presence. So we only had a very short space of time and the, the sound kept popping on the microphone. So I kept having to repeat again and again and again. And each time I did it, the bees I could see, they were like buzzing closer. Like, it's time for you to go now. So anyway, managed to just get it done. I finished at like 20 past 12. So then rushed up back to the bedroom and uh, there you go. So that's something to look forward to. So I shall keep you posted. I'm not sure when the transmission dates are for that. I think they probably start in kind of early to mid-September. So that's really good. And something that I have been fueling the crew on here, and we're obviously we're a reduced crew, not allowed inside the house. Everything's done at a distance outside. I have to fix my own microphone, you know, because the sound guy isn't allowed to um, come, you know, and touch me and all of that. So anyway, uh, but one thing that I have been serving is I've got a new, well, it's not new because I think I've mentioned it in passing today, but it's a new Liz Love. So we've got a discount code now for 10% off kombucha. And I love this brand. I've talked about it before. It's called Mighty Brew and it certainly is mighty. And this one is made with sencha tea, which is the, the wonderful Japanese green tea. And if you can see, you've got the kind of fermented bits at the bottom where it's slightly cloudy. So you just want to give it a little teeny bit of a shake and then you can see the cloudiness. So if you want to go onto their website, I think they are Mighty Brew. Uh, hopefully they're just kind of mightybrew.com or something simple like that. I know I've got a link on Linktree on Instagram and I know Amy you will give us a link on Facebook. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they are. It doesn't actually say it on here. Um, but we've also got a, p a piece on lizardwellbeing.com. I put together a whole piece about kombucha because lots of you have been making your own. Lots of chat about scobies. And of course, you can buy my Good Gut Box where you get your scoby and you can brew your own. But it takes seven to ten days to brew your first batch of kombucha. So while you're waiting, or if you want to have some handy bottles, you know, think about, I don't know, you've got... Um, bank holiday weekend coming up you know maybe you've got some barbecues or picnics or whatever and you want to give something that's soft but really tasty it's not like a fizzy drink that's full of sugar this is actually good for your good gut bugs so this one um is got the crisp green green tea taste this is Sencha. actually shall i open this because i've just shaken it what do you think oh it's fizzy 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 ah it's all fizzing up do it very slowly all the bubbles came to the top. Actually, sometimes I just pour this into like a champagne flute. Um, you know, if everyone's having a nice glass of Prosecco or something and I just want to paste the amount of alcohol that I'm drinking, I'll just use that because it's fizzy and it's champagne coloured. Mm. That is really good, I have to say. I met these guys, they had a stand at the Handmade Fair. Now, I don't know if any of you have been to the Handmade Fair, but it was started by Kirsty Allsop, um, as it was a kind of a bit of a spin-off from her BBC programmes where she was talking to all these lovely people, making handmade things, and it turned into a handmade festival. And she did that for a couple of years, and it was two or three times a year, always over a weekend, and then she's got so many commitments with her BBC filming that she was looking for somebody else to help host it. So for the last few years, I have kind of been a co-host and covered for her on her days off. And I love those days because not only do I obviously get to interview lots of amazing handmade crafters and step into a world that is not really my own, but I so admire it and love it. Uh, but I also get to meet a lot of the stallholders who've come. And when I was there last time, I'm just going to finish this one so I can open a new one. Mm. I met Mighty Brew. And I obviously made a beeline for them because I thought, oh my goodness, somebody's selling proper kombucha. I have to go and check these guys out. And they just, they sell it by the case so you can have it delivered wherever you are in the UK. Lemongrass, I have to say, is particularly good. Then you've also got this one, which is jasmine. So if any of you are doing like an Asian stir fry or eating Chinese food or whatever, and you want something that's going to cut through all that 
you know, particularly if you get it from a takeaway, you know, often it can have a lot of MSG or a lot of sugar or salt in it. You just want something light. Often you'll have jasmine tea that's served with Chinese food or Japanese food. Well, this is a really healthy alternative because, of course, you're getting your probiotics. And then this one, which I absolutely love too, which I might have now, it's called Summer Bliss. And this is, they do limited editions every now and then with different flavours. And what's this one got in it? This has green tea. It's got various different, oh, it's got roses in it. That's why I love it. Roses and lime and yeah, just great. So I'm very carefully going to tip that upside down. And I know that this is the real thing because when I've been away, I've left a little bit of kombucha in the bottom of a bottle and it's started to grow its own scoby. So that's how you know that it's not pasteurized and it's the real thing, whoa. And of course it's very fizzy, <laughs> nearly went everywhere, just caught it in time. Um, so this one, so yeah, this is Summer Bliss. So this is around just for a little bit, I think along with the um, jasmine. Mm, smells really, really kind of fruity. Oh, I love it. You just get that rosy, that lovely rosy smell. Lots of you making my rose petal granola, for example. Just great. So anyway, so I gave this to the crew who are here from this morning yesterday when we had a lunch break and they were all like wow this is really good we really like this I'm saying yeah it's really good and it's really good for you because it's low sugar and it's giving you some good gut bugs so it's very good for your gut health as well and if you use Liz Loves all in capitals you get 10% off so even better mm. lovely rosy smell so um rosy smell and rosy taste and talking of roses and botanicals just to say, this is the very last week of the discount on my botanical range at Lizelle Jewellery. That's lizellejewellery.com. Um, and so these are the ivy earrings. I love these. These are the uh, rose gold. So more roses. I just love rose gold. It's such a pretty, pretty shade, I think. It kind of reflects the light really well. And it seems to suit all skin tones. Really dark skin looks fabulous with rose gold. Um, but pale kind of Celtic blondes can also wear rose gold, I think. Or there's yellow gold as well. And it comes, just if you haven't seen it, um, if you're thinking about gifting, then you've got your little box. And these are actually my little rose rose gold studs, my ear studs, which are the roses. And uh, it's all fair trade gold. So I write a lot about fair trade gold. You know me, I like to have ethical provenance. I like brands uh, to behave well and to behave ethically and responsibly, particularly when it comes to sourcing and the supply chain. So when I started my jewellery collection, I wanted to make sure that it was certified fair trade. Um, and the earrings, the ivy earrings are selling really quickly because they've been on sale. They've been 40% off, 4 zero, so that's nearly half price. So there are just a few left. So I wanted to give that a bit of a shout out. So we've got the rose gold, which I'm wearing, and the yellow gold. Um, and we also have just this week, because they've been selling so quickly, my team have also just popped on the ivy necklace. So if you wanted to get something matching, just to show you, that's the little rose gold one. Isn't that pretty? A little ivy leaf. And just to show you as well, because I don't often take these off to show, but I like things that are multifunctional, multitasking. So you'll see you've got four little rings there so you can adjust the sizes. And then it's got, I call it a dangle. I don't know, there's probably a technical word for the name, but there's a little dangle at the back. So if you have your hair up, for example, you have short hair, then you can have that little dangle showing at the back and it's the little ivy leaf. And I also have my hallmark on it. So I do have a Lizelle hallmark. Yeah, it's the LE London. And there's a little um, piece here that just says Lizelle Fair and Fine, because that's the brand name, because it's, it's fair as in fair trade and fair mind. Um, and fine because it's fine jewellery so there you go anyway just wanted to share that with you because they are there's just the last few available um talking of last few new magazine out soon i am patiently well impatiently awaiting my copies it's been printed the september october issue has been printed I haven't got mine yet, so I don't know whether anybody's received theirs, but I get mine in the post. I should, in theory, get mine sent first, you would think, but sometimes that doesn't happen. Uh, so I'm really excited. So I'll be sharing that with you just as soon as I get that through the post. If you uh, want to subscribe, obviously you can. If you want the September, October issue, you're going to have to be super quick because we did overprint by a few copies, but not many. 
So um, with there are still just a few around. You get one free and you get free PMP and you get your £10 Neil's Yard voucher. There are just a few of them left. So this is really kind of a last call for that uh, if you want it. Don't forget, if you want free digital magazines, you can go to Readly. So uh, Amy, I know your proper link because it's a special link that you need to use. Amy, pop it on Facebook if you wouldn't mind. And it is up on Instagram on the link tree. So if you're new to the Instagram, you're watching me for the first time, just go to my main bio. And then if you look at the bottom where it says link tree in blue letters, um, click on that and there'll be a link there for free digital magazines. And basically we've managed to get an offer with them that gives you one month free. It's normally seven ninety nine to subscribe and that gives you access to literally tens of thousands of magazines globally. It's an incredible thing. I absolutely love it. So you may well want to continue after your free month. But if you don't, that's fine. You can, there's no obligation. You can just literally just cancel it and you've had your free month. But if you want to get, for example, this is the current issue. If you haven't got it, it's not on sale anymore. So you just have to get the digital edition. Also really good for all my overseas customers because obviously posting these is really expensive. So if you can read us wherever you are in the world, free. And with Readly, they give us the back issues as well. So not all of them, but for the last few years. So this one, I know lots of you from last April, May, you were cooking a lot of the cake recipes and the low sugar baking. Um, this is, yeah, sorry, May, June, May, June 2019. If you haven't got this one physically, uh, if you go to Readly, then you'll be able to go through and get the back issues and super easily look up all the recipes. So I think it's a really good thing. And we are going to stay on Readly. So for Liz, our Wellbeing magazine, it will be an ongoing thing. If you want to read us digitally, you will be able just to read us on the Readly app, along with any other magazine that takes your fancy. So I think it is a good thing. If you want to read us in print, of course, I am busy here in between my takes, signing copies of my yearbook too. So those are going out from the farm. If you want yours for the weekend, for some weekend baking or reading or treat making, um, if you get your order in today or tomorrow, I will sign it and make sure it goes in the post by tomorrow. So hopefully all depends on the post, but they have been delivered really quickly, which is really good. So that is about it for today. My goodness, I don't know where the day's gone. I have to go and have a very quick bite to eat and then get back out there. I film with my bees. I've been outside filming. Um, I was also having to do something by a plum tree, which was covered in wasps. So it was like, really, guys? You know, first you put me by the bees, then I have to go by the wasps. Um, but I'm heading now to my herb garden. So I'm going to do some bits and pieces down there. Then I'm going out into one of the fields. I think I'm doing something with some of the cows. So I hope they're in a good mood. <laughs> then we're going to pop into the chickens and yeah, lots and lots of stuff going on. So I'm really pleased. The weather is so much better. Oh my goodness, yesterday. Did you have those winds? I mean, we were battling gale force winds. And of course, we're not allowed to film indoors. So everything was outside trying to take shelter. And, you know, I had I was wearing a microphone under my dress and of course, I've got to be really careful with that because it can rub against the fabric and, and sound really bad. So I was trying not to get it rubbing against the fabric, but it had to be really well protected. So I was like wearing three coats on the top, uh, which was fine. So we managed to do it. And then, of course, once we got the sound sorted out, then um, it rained. So we had to stop. <laughs> Uh, and then the, it was such a gale that we set up this lovely little thing outside next to my shepherd's hut, which you might have seen, actually. I popped it on Instagram, um, I think, late last night when we finished, because we worked till, like, 9 o'clock at night. Uh, so when we finished, I, I popped on some behind-the-scenes pictures, which I'll do today as well, actually, as, as we go. We've been taking some behind-the-scenes, which is always fun, so it's nice to share those. But literally, we just set up, and we had some outdoor lights and all of that with cabling all over the fields. And, of course, this huge gust of wind came, and just everything went completely flat. That. so we then had to reset it and oh my goodness which you won't see any of that hopefully by the time it's all been beautifully edited and put together on the screen it would just be this really lovely calm sort of seamless you know beautiful English country landscape and everything looking lovely so anyway when it goes to air I'll let you all know and then you can watch it and know the reality of what it was actually like behind the scenes anyway I'm going to get back to do this. Uh, I'm doing that for today and for the rest of tomorrow. I will check in a bit later just to check comments and messages. Um, I don't do direct messages, you know, on Instagram, but I do try and get through all my comments and the same on Facebook as well. So have a lovely rest of the day. I'll be back here on Friday. Hopefully it'll be a bit calmer on Friday. 
film crew should have gone um, unless we have a kind of major disaster. And I've got some really good finds. I've got a brand new brand, British female founder led brand. It's nothing, it's nothing I've ever talked about before and you're going to absolutely love it. It's something that I have genuinely used. I don't know when I first discovered it, maybe 10 years ago. And I went back to it this summer and I then started to explore the founder and who she was and what her story is. And it's fascinating and I love it. And I'm really excited to share it with you. So please join me on Friday for that. And we've got a fabulous Liz Loves on it as well. So that is it for today. Sending you lots of love. Thank you for all your hearts. Loads of hearts back. See you very soon. Bye.